Today we got a bunch of news, like Rolls messing up something, Rolls making more mistakes and drama as per usual, and a bunch more stories today. So if you're new here as per usual, please subscribe. We're so close to 10k and we're trying to reach it soon so please subscribe and let's get into it. So yeah, this video I'm going to cover a bunch of stories because in my main channel video there still is a lot of stuff I didn't get to cover. So I thought I'd cover it here because a lot of them is pretty interesting. And firstly, this was Rolls making everyone angry because they changed something that seemed kind of stupid. So Reverse Polarity here tweeted us saying that God love Rolls making UDC changes while you're on vacation. They now require visible face movements on their characters in order to upload. But many of my upcoming avatars wouldn't make sense with the face. Thanks for the Typhoon Creativity once again, Roblox. So yeah, this change seems so unnecessary and also so stupid. If you're confused, basically they're saying that if you're uploading a character now, it has to have a face and like a recognizable face or else you can't upload it. Which is so dumb because if you think about it, a lot of the more out there packages and stuff like that don't have faces. So in general, just a very dumb and unnecessary move from Roblox. Another developer followed up saying that it works by taking screenshots of the head with dynamic head controls active. If you just make a mesh deform a little bit such as that, it changes the pixel colors and it should be enough to pass the test. They did this because they're and don't want to allow static faces. So yeah, as you can tell by that last statement, developers are very very angry at this. Which I understand honestly. There was no reason it seemed like to do this. It's just adding more steps for developers and making their process more annoying. Like it seems like they try to make an update. The most annoying update they can think of it seems like. That's what it looks like. And in general with that being said, everyone's just kind of angry at rolls for this because it makes everything so annoying and it's just kind of stupid. Because I think like they mentioned there is a way to bypass it but you have to do a bunch more steps now and stuff like that. And it just makes everything more annoying and also just harder for some reason. Like these packages weren't harming anyone and it seemed fine but Roblox making another unnecessary change for no reason are we even surprised probably not but super stupid update from them and with that being said next we have a good update so i mean they do one bad thing and then one good thing i feel like that's the definition of roblox is here they announce something really good and then they announce something really bad it's actually been back and forth all year and what they just announced is actually pretty crazy blocks is here to us saying that with stimulation pause you're able to pause the simulation of your scene in roblox studio without disabling rendering this can help with debugging f mural scenes and mechanisms by allowing you to dive deeper into what's visually going on in the moment i have no idea what that word means f mural or even if i'm saying it right but basically in layman's terms what this feature is from my understanding is that any like animations and physics you have going on in roblox now you can actually pause and change stuff and stuff like that and observe it so if you have like a block falling down you can pause it halfway through the fall to make sure it looks right in the example there's a plane driving around and they pause it halfway through the flight to make some changes and stuff like that which are honestly pretty insane and a pretty huge update I never developed on Roblox before, but I'm assuming prior to this, you have to keep running tests over and over again and then fixing it. So stuff like this just makes it easier and also saves you a bunch of time. So in general, a very good update from Rolls, honestly, and I'm surprised this wasn't even a thing prior. And everyone's very excited about this and developers in general are very happy. So to be fair, for the last thing I didn't talk about, they did a really bad update, but then they followed up with a really good update. So win-lose situation, I guess. And with that being said, our next story of Rolls making a mistake. And they actually made two mistakes recently. So firstly, if you guys remember a few like weeks ago or whatever, like depression in the community, I don't know what else to call it, or just a big sadness in the community because Rolls actually announced that they're going to be removing comments now from items. And even though the comment section feels kind of unused nowadays, it was a birth of some very iconic Rolls moments and memes, you know, E3 and stuff like that. And a lot of people also just thought they were fine. It doesn't seem like there was a need to remove it. So a lot of people are depressed that Rolls are removing it and stuff like that. But with that being said, apparently April 9th was a date that they were supposed to remove them. And if you check now, the comments are still there for items and everything like that. So I don't know if Roblox forgot or if they're delaying the update or changing the update but for some reason the comments are still here and they have not been removed the present artist here to us saying that one fact april 9th which was scheduled to be the day for a complete removal of comment tab under catalog items has already passed and the comments are still there it's possible that rose forgot or maybe postponed the date so yeah it's not even like on the date if it's on april 9th then i'll understand it like oh maybe they'll do it later in the day but it's literally been like four days now and they still haven't done it so i'm assuming it's probably the latter in this option. They probably just postponed it without telling everyone. Which also, I feel like, makes no sense. I feel like this update, like, why would they postpone it? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's not like they're releasing, like, a new feature or anything like that. All they have to do is delete all the comments. Everything about the situation is just so confusing. It's confusing, number one, why would they even remove comments? It seemed like, you know, they're adding extra work for no reason, to be honest. But then number two, when it came time to remove the feature, they didn't remove it. So then they potentially postponed it. But then that brings us the question of why would they postpone an update like this? We've obviously seen roles postpone stuff in the past. Like, that's normal. But they usually postpone like big updates and like big developer stuff because obviously it's like a big feature that people are going to use. No removals of stuff, that seems kind of weird because all they have to do is remove it. I don't know, whatever's going on is very weird, but they're probably going to be removed just randomly 
sometime soon so i guess use them while you can and with that being said like i mentioned there's two mistakes he made recently and the second was actually kind of funny the brazilian rtc once again tweeted out saying that news Rules recently posted a seemingly normal video on its official Japanese TikTok profile. However, the song is a Brazilian funk with inappropriate lyrics, which certainly shouldn't be there. So yeah, I'm not going to play the audio because I think it's copyrighted, but as you can see by the counter in like the video, I think there's like four or five times the thing swore, so is it literally just swearing over and over again? And I guess the person behind the TikTok account didn't realize or didn't understand the language, so they uploaded it not knowing it was just literally swearing over and over again. Like, it's a 20 second clip and it's four or five times. That's kind of crazy. Or four times. And if you read the comments, everyone in the comments is just freaking out, being like, oh, change the audio, you use the wrong audio, you started swearing and stuff like that. And it's just kind of like a funny mistake. Like, the response wasn't too insane because it's on their not as known TikTok account. But imagine they did this on their main. That actually be just insane. But in general, it's kind of funny to see. Because the most people who follow this are probably just kids. And they click on this video to just see a bunch of swearing from the Rolls account. Imagine that. That's actually kind of hilarious. And a very big mistake from Roblox. I assume the video might get taken down or changed. But for me, it's been up for like a while now. And they've yet to delete it or take it down. So maybe they're not aware or maybe they just don't care. Which honestly, fair enough, I guess. In general, though, it's just kind of funny mistake there I thought I'd mention. Because a lot of people were freaking out about it, especially in the comments. And with that being said, our last story, something crazy actually happened recently. And the story is actually for our piggy players. So if you're not a piggy player and you're about to leave, please subscribe before you leave and have a good day, I guess. But basically, after all these years, Years, there's finally going to be another piggy type spin-off happening we obviously know that mini is going to be launching a new game but this is going to be another spin-off beyond that he tweeted out saying that ahoy everyone i'm proud to announce a new official piggy game in the works by wizard watch roblox who i think is like a fan game which is very cool you know he's giving a fan game this opportunity and they're very good too so highly deserve there this new game will follow tiger and willow on their adventures or misadventures together exploring world events after book two stay tuned so yeah it's actually pretty huge for piggy players you're finally getting an addition to the story and some more content from the main game and main storyline which are actually insane and then on top of that piggy intercity whenever that's going to release it's also a continuation of the story so finally after all these years of nothing basically piggy fans are finally getting some pretty good content now coming soon and with that being said speaking of intercity all this time minitoon once again spoke out about it just saying intercity is still being worked on given it's such a massive and ambitious game it's gonna take some time to make i figured it may be best have another studio work on a spin off to satisfy piggy players in the piggy content drought so yeah that kind of gives you the timeline here i guess the next thing in like the piggy sequence is gonna be the spin off game and then while people digest the spin-off game, next Intercity should finally be releasing, which is actually insane. I mentioned this a lot when I talk about this in my other videos, but I'm very, very curious to see how Piggy Intercity performs because that core fan base of Piggy during like quarantine, I feel like everybody left the game and doesn't care about it anymore or the majority of players just because it's been so long now you know like i was a big piggy player i made so much piggy videos but to be honest i don't really care for big intercity anymore no hate to mini tune like i think it's gonna be a good game but my interest for biggie is gone after all these years of waiting you know so i'm very curious to see how it performs i mean it'll probably do good you know piggy is gonna remain a big game no matter what but it definitely would have done better i feel like during that whole hype and the hype kind of died out but i guess we have to wait and see and let me know in the comments are you still excited as piggy players and fans i feel like a lot of people had lost interest i don't know i guess we have to wait and see and with that being said if you enjoyed check this video for some more news and drama and i'll see you in the next one also subscribe please i'm desperate